Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to be doing something we haven't done in quite a long time and that is a tier list. And this tier list is going to be on the game Rise of Nations in Roblox. And it's going to be on all the different troops that are in the game. And before this video starts, um, I actually made this tier list. So if you want to go check it out and make your own tier list for this, the link will be in the description. Well, let's get started. So we're going to start with inventory. So this is the main thing of the game. I think it can't be ranked any lower than a B just because it is one of the only two things that can actually take over cities. So because of that, it's, it's pretty good. And like if you get anti-tank in the technology, it can just plow through tanks. So I think we're going to have to put that in A tier. Next are tanks. Tanks can be really good and really bad. So they are amazing at taking over cities really fast, like plowing through AI nations. But there's one really weakness. And of course, you can like train them to make them stronger. But if it's like in a desert, especially mountains, they're so slow and they take so much damage when they're in like desert or jungle unless if they're specialized in them and then they're super slow in the mountains so it can be really difficult if you're tagging something like iran or pakistan or chile or something like that but they are very good but it's just kind of situational and then they're also good at taking out inventory as long as they don't have anti-tank so it's kind of depends there but i'm gonna have to put that probably i mean they're so useful they can like they are it's a very useful in a spam strategy so i don't it's a or b i'm gonna i'm gonna put them b next is artillery now artillery is an easy s tier i'm just gonna put it up there right immediately it is so good it can be used in basically it can't really be used with air but it can be used in ground and water like wars because basically artillery can easily counter any boats except submarines which is insane and then it's also great in land wars to keep behind the troops to do constant damage um there's not too much of a weakness other than like the only really weakness is troops like if you can get troops around and killing them but if you have something defending those um artillery they can be tough to take down they can be really good so i don't there's not even much more to say they are just so good against pretty much everything except planes next we got the anti-aircraft now this one i mean it's not that good. It, it counters one thing, which is all these air troops, but there's also fighters, which also kill planes, so they're not even, like, that, like, it, it really depends. I don't think they're that good, because, of course, there's fighters, and you can already counter it, and, I mean, they're, they can be, like, expensive to put in around all of your cities, so I think we're gonna have to, I don't know, not, not F tier, because they, you need them sometimes, but I'm gonna put it in D. Okay, destroyers. Now, destroyers are, like, the main like thing that is in a navy they have actually really good range and are decently good at taking out troops on land um they die easily by destroyers and aircraft carriers but they can kill frigates and they're also good at killing submarines so um it is a great counter for those two things I, it's a good air, it's a good naval unit it's nothing nothing's too bad about it so i i'd say it's a b tier and inside the tiers we're going to rank like which one is better and in this case i think we're gonna have i think tanks are better so we're gonna go like in this this is the best and this is the worst next we got battleships okay this one is interesting because battleships have an easy counter which is subs as well as any other thing which is artillery they can get taken out by artillery quite easily but they're really good at taking out destroyers and like they do a lot of damage they don't have much range but i don't know this could be another b tier or maybe and I don't know, I think this is probably a B tier higher than um, a destroyer. So now we have aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are actually really, really good. They have huge range. They can die by submarines quite easily, but if, as long as you get like some subs and destroyers to defend it, maybe some frigates, it is basically unstoppable. It because this is one where it can actually kill other navy units none of the navies like can shoot each other from a distance this one it can kill it has the huge range and it can kill boats at range as well as um ground units and of course um planes and not to mention i, I don't really use it that often but you can also land planes on there which is probably the main use but i just don't use it that much so i think we're gonna probably put it high high a tier above inventory there we go. Now we got frigates. Frigates are terrible. They're 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 cheap, but like okay. So the the only thing in that is like at all good at is killing submarines. They do barely any damage. They have really small range. 
Um, and th it's, they're basically outshined, or not really outshined, but they're pretty much equal in killing submarines as a destroyer. So might, they might be a little cheaper, but they die by every other, um, every other unit. They die by destroyers themselves. They die by battleships. They die by aircraft carriers. And the only thing they can take out is submarines. So I, I gotta give... I gotta give frigates an F tier. Next we have submarines. Submarines are super, super good. They are insanely good. So they can kill battleships and aircraft carriers. Um, like it's not even close. Now their count they do have two counters, which are the frigates and destroyers, but they actually it kills them really slowly. So you're gonna need a lot of frigates or destroyers to um, take them out if you if you want to defend like an aircraft, an aircraft carrier or a battleship. And they're pretty cheap too, so you can just stack them up. And of course, the part that they're hidden from other players, and only when you get really close is when you can see them. So it is so, so good. I think we're going to have to pro probably blow artillery, but it is an S tier, definitely. So now we have the fighter. So the fighter is interesting because it is an air unit and it kills all other air units. So it's similar to the anti-aircraft, but it's much faster. But it is also way more expensive and it has fuel which anti-aircraft don't so i think we're gonna have to put it because you also got to remember like that anti-aircraft can kill everything and then fighters can only kill these three so i think we're gonna have to put it probably below anti-aircraft so now we have attackers now i really don't use attackers that much I don't know if that's because they're i, I mean i just really don't use them they're not necessarily bad but i guess i don't really know so I think so I think they're really good in like rough terrain because your tr the troops are moving super slowly and the attacker can just do constant damage to uh, ground units which is what they're used for they're used for um, doing many damage to ground units they're similar to bombers but they just don't um, like scorch cities so I think I'm not knowing too much about it. I'm gonna have to put it in C tier next we got bombers now bombers they are very good they as I said they can scorch cities um like the like removing manpower gain tax income and like you can even destroy factories so it can be very good if you have lots of bombers especially if you can bomb their capital that i think it makes it a lot less stable i'm not 100 percent sure but so yeah i think we're gonna have to put bombers as a b probably high b tier i'm gonna do probably below the, they're above the two ships but not above tanks lastly uh, so we got transport aircraft now this one's hard to rank because it's just kind of a basic thing that moves troops around as you would expect it can be countered by pretty much any air um thing or anti-aircraft but it is still very good if you're trying to transport troops to the middle of like a mountain range that is can be so useful so i think i'm going to put this one Ooh, this is difficult i think i'm going to put it in low a tier because it's actually i mean as i said there's um a lot of benefits to it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is, remember, this is just my opinion. You guys might have a different opinion than me. But once again, I left the link to this tier down in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.